Scorpios, what's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to your bonus reading. I hope you're all doing well. And remember, if this reading resonates, to please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower. Links below in the description. What is coming up for my babies? Thank you for supporting this channel. You guys rock. Thank you for all your likes, your subscribes. You're amazing. So what's coming up for Scorpios in October? We have Magnetic Attraction, Unexpected, ooh, and a Confession. Oh shit, Scorpio, damn. We have Unworthy and Sexting at the bottom with Unrequited. So someone's trying to pull you into some shit that is, you know, low self-confidence, low self-esteem. All they got is sex and they can probably do that. Can't even do that right. Okay, but you have a strong connection you weren't expecting to someone or they want to confess this to you or you could be confessing this to someone. Okay, like I didn't expect this shit to happen. <laughs> Let's see. What is this for Scorpio? What's magnetic attraction? It says healing, inner child, shadow work, introspection. So you've done a lot of work and now you're pulling in the right energies. What's unexpected? Ooh, a rejection. This person is not expecting you to reject their offer. What's confession? Pain. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Whoa. So someone wants to tell you they're in a lot of pain, that you've rejected them. This is unexpected. But you're like, I'm healing and I'm going towards what makes me happy. Whoa. I did not like how that split. Mm -mm. Let's see. All right. What is going zones? Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. And girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happy, single, living in the moment, having fun. And at the bottom, we have not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call, or a person. Boundaries. Still angry with the Grim Reaper and the Phoenix. There we are, Scorpio, with ascending. <laughs> this relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. New phase. Rekindle. Renew. Transform growth. A changed mind. And transcending obstacles. Learning. Expansion. New phase. Preparing for union. Yeah, you're not going to be lighthearted with this person. Um, huh. So someone could have told you they wanted to be single at one point and they're not really happy. They're in pain. They feel rejected ever since you've broken up. They could be sending you an unexpected message that you're not dealing with because you have a true connection to someone here. Very passionate connection to someone. All right. And you're stopping the pattern of something with someone else too. I'm seeing that. You're rejecting their offer and you don't got time. But this is a very unexpected confession or attraction to someone. I don't think you're expecting this confession at all. But this person feels like they need to tell you. This could even, I got two with girl talk. This could be a friend. This could be platonic. I don't know, but we'll see. Let's see. Ooh, Scorpio, you got some money coming in in October. The Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. This could be an engagement for some of you too. A new business opportunity, new ambitions. So let's see. What's coming in for my Scorpios in October? You got the Eight of Pentacles. And the Moon. Some of you could be doing work in secret. Okay, but this is also Cancer, Pisces, Virgo. They could be keeping a secret from you. Mm-hmm. What's coming towards Scorpio? Oh, damn. Yeah, this person is in some pain over you walking away. Maybe they wanted a family with you, Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Eight of Cups. What else? The Nine of Cups with the Ten of Cups. It's like they feel like you're their emotional happiness, but this person is selfish. And they know something's over with the Ten of Swords. Mm. What's going on in between? Oh, it came right back out. The Ten of Cups. <laughs> Someone is kicking themselves in the ass right now. Whoa. Oh, shit. Let's see. Whoa. 
the emperor so some of you are you're moving into an engagement a commitment this is your divine masculine or feminine coming into your life um you're definitely not in denial hmm i feel like there is this i feel like you're keeping your projects hidden you're doing a lot of work you've got emotional fulfillment you're bossing up you're keeping everything to yourself here i'm seeing the phoenix over here too scorpio representing you and then this person is just like you are their wish fulfillment the emotions get stronger for them around the full moon what's the outcome the six of pentacles and look at this the empress so you do have this divine match where you have a masculine or a feminine that's embodying all the kings or queens you guys are ready to make moves with each other but someone is lying to themselves like they're very manipulative here about um what about fairness okay they feel like life's unfair to me but they're gonna get their karma whoever this is okay and they can't do shit to you is also what i'm hearing or your money or this new beginning you have coming with the ace of pentacles so let's go ahead and take out this ace of pentacles yeah they could have been working with a group of people and these burdens will never touch you okay damn so let's clarify for my scorpios here let's see what is going on with this huh mm -hmm. what's the eight of pentacles with the moon what is the eight of pentacles with the moon we have the eight of wands lots of communication coming in in the five of cups it's like somebody wants to bring you down with some kind of news here that's what i'm seeing they could be trying to attack your work here with magic. They keep it a secret. Aries, Leo, Sag, possible Cancer, Pisces. I want one more for um, Scorpio on that. The High Priestess. One second, you guys. All right, so yeah, this could have been a Pisces for some of you. Um, but someone could have went to like a fake spiritualist too to try to attack your work. I'm hearing that. But they're like, why are things still growing for Scorpio? Like, why are they still making it out on top? Your intuition. You're doing everything secretively, quietly, in your divine energy. And things are going to move very quickly. That's what I feel. Knight of Wands is at the bottom. Yep. Mm -hmm. So some of you could be a reader like me too. And um, this could secretly be weighing on your emotions. And they're saying take breaks when you need to. Okay. What is the Ten of Swords with the Nine of Cups? the queen of wands yeah someone sees it you're very um you're taking care of yourself you're celebrating life they could regret putting you in a third party situation in the past they find you very attractive they see that you have good health you're stable and the ace of swords they want to come talk to you about something so this could be that communication coming in that you want to reject but this person does want to reconcile with you mm-hmm yes they do after a major ending <coughs> but this could also be someone telling you about a third party situation all right what is the emperor with the ten of cups i think this is all this person's bullshit of them seeing the truth about needing a bunch of attention always wanting the, the good looking person but saying that it was you you're this very intuitive person who maybe they were scared of in the past and now they want to communicate, but you're not listening to this person anymore. You're working on yourself. Emperor and the Ten of Cups. We got the Four of Cups. Yeah, someone's very sad about this. And I see someone over drinking. And it's like they need to heal because that's what you've done. Look at how she's pointing down to the Emperor and the Ten of Cups. It's like you're healing your emotions. You're taking control. You've got, every, you've got life by the reins and your emotions. Okay, You are in control. With the four of wands, you're creating stability and you're emotionally walking away from people that are full of shit. You really don't have time. And I do feel like you're keeping things secret at this time. You've made the decision. 
What is that? Yeah. See, I feel like, again, there is someone here trying to work with others, but they can't affect your creativity or who you are or the choices that you make because you're emotionally detached from these energies. Look at this when I split the deck. Yeah, someone was definitely trying you, though. Mm -hmm. And the truth's coming out big time. What's the Six of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio in October? The Ten of Swords. They need to see it's over. Quit reaching for it. And the Lovers. Damn. With what? The King of Wands. Now we have a Divine Match. Then we have the Hero Font and the Magician and the Hermit. Strong Virgo Taurus coming through here. But it's like, you know this is the right decision with the Nine of Swords in the reverse and the Queen of Swords upright. You're making the right choice. This is um, the release of competition too. So no one can compete with you at this time. You're too balanced. You're very in tune with yourself right now and new opportunities. For some of you with the Lovers and the Ace of Pentacles, this could be a baby. I just have to put it out there. But I feel like, um, what am I feeling here? Someone doesn't compare to this feminine or masculine that's coming into your life and they, they do realize that and it pains them a lot. Your intuition tells you that this person's still clinging to your energy with that five of cups. It's like you can kind of hear them or, or feel the energy, but you know that this is an illusion that this person is trapped in and you are, you're creating stability for your life. But as you can see, they keep bleeding into your reading. It's like they can't let something go and spirit saying that's it, you know, you're done. You know, because I do see someone, this is kind of giving me the king of wands where it's like, especially if this is two masculines competing, this person cannot compete to your masculine or your feminine. Look at how the cape is there, you know. Um, it's just like it's over, it's done. And they need to understand this. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's hidden, my loves. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very deep. Some of you could be opening a new business, too. I'm seeing with the Emperor, the Four of Wands. You could be a healer with the Star card and the High Priestess. You could be a spiritual healer. Mm-hmm. But people, I'm hearing, too, like, people want to hear what you have to say. They come to you for that advice with the High Priestess and the Eight of Wands. Let's see what's going on here. What's hidden from Scorpio? Viral, instant fame, going around quickly, gaining popularity. Who's this? <laughs> Unknown caller, block numbers, fake numbers. And cock blocking, inaccessible third party interference, failed sexual attempts. And at the bottom, we got numbing, self-medicating, drinking away problems, distracting with substances. I told y'all, this person's over drinking or something and missing you, overthinking shit. They need to just get their life together. Mm -mm. You do have a glow up and someone that wants to apologize, Scorpio. Well, let's see. What is this for Scorpios in October? It says the tea, gossip, rumors, inside information. So people are seeing whatever this is that's making you famous or gain popularity and they're gossiping about this what's this um unknown caller block numbers fake numbers we're playing events overthinking tension worry and they're feeling so if you block this person or you're not talking to them they're really in their feelings about this all right yeah with the rejection and unexpected maybe they thought they could just pick you up at any damn time like scorpio is not a play thing okay and then look at this, pregnancy, building a family, children, birthing something. And at the bottom, we got career focused, career over love, finances, goals, love in the workplace. And there's this toxic incompatibility, painful love, karmic relationship. So again, you might find out someone is in this karmic connection or you knew this person was a karmic and you got career focused and in the meantime you still found real love and they thought that they could come back at any time but they can't you're already birthing something new in your life whoa good for you scorpio mm -hmm. now let's see what else you need to know let's see what do my scorpios need to know for october 
It says overflow. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. The player lifestyle that wants to find everything they did has stopped looking so enticing ever since they met you and the mask. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings and children. Children are affecting this connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good with frequency and release. So, yeah, they're, this person is not allowed to connect to your frequency at all. They've been cut off. What else do you need my Scorpios to know before, before we pull their advice card? I'm tongue twisted. I feel like this person is too. And they're saying during Libra season... There's a lot of balance coming in with your finances. There's an end to um, missed opportunities or something like that. All right. So we've got the moon. <laughs> Fears, insecurity, things are not as they seem. There's more information to be revealed. And your intuition is telling you this. And then it says nature calls. Ground yourself. Connect with nature. Take a break or take a breather and wasting time not worth waiting for prolonging the inevitable nothing good will come of it so even if this person does try to communicate to you and sees that they're blocked it it doesn't matter anyways because nothing good was going to come out of that communication they were just going to waste your time i feel like you did get more grounded in your energy and by the full moon in october there is something big being revealed to you guys and what's at the bottom it says right here waiting expectations yearning longing waiting period the children young um or it says the young children, youthful spirit, inner child healing and setting an example, the light of their life, setting strong boundaries. All right. So you did trigger this person to heal. You were this person's light. This does give me Virgo energy, too. All right. So let me know down in the comments. Now let's get your advice. Advice for Scorpios. Oh, wow. Okay, we got Crystal Visions and Expanse. You guys got two of them. All right, so let me show you. Clouds of Nine is at the bottom, which is wish fulfillment and being very happy and something very great coming to you. So here's the cards. All right. So let's see. Let's see, my babies. What is this about for October? We will start with Expanse. It says, there are moments of great conflict within this life and within our innermost being. And these experiences can often feel as though a massive chasm has opened up before us. There is nothing wrong with these moments, as we all need them in order to expand our awareness and find ourselves more deeply. If you, have current, if you currently find yourself in an expanse, know that you are not alone, as many have and will walk this road. We are all connected on the journey of the expanse and if you needed or if you need community reach out and they will be there to support you. Okay, and I see that with the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, the Four of Wands, the Star that you're healing. I feel like you guys have come out of this deep reflective phase where maybe it was hard for you to communicate how you felt but now you know how to. All right, let's go to Crystal Visions. Okay, it says, a light path is opening up before you, and it is asking for you to come a ways with it. On this path resides a new vision, eager for the taking. But first, remember to honor the old vision and acknowledge that its time is, no is now passing. Each, visions, each vision serves us diligently in the season where it was born. Even though it may not walk with us as far as we first imagined, practice today being as grateful for the old as you are for the new, for both are needed. Okay? And I do want you guys to see what's coming with this. Okay? You've got a divine connection in clouds of nine. This is about the connection you have to spirit and the blessings that are coming before you that you have no idea about so get ready i feel like whatever was hidden from you that's going to be revealed is amazing i hope you guys enjoyed this reading please don't forget to hit like and subscribe i love 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 you bye